Welcome back to my channel, Toya the Sickle Cell Warrior. Today, I just want to make a quick video and talk about ginger. Ginger and hydroxyurea. Hydroxyurea is a medication that a lot of sickle cell patients are on. So I want to discuss what do ginger do to the blood in your body and what does the chemical pill that they give us hydroxyurea does to the blood. Okay. Ginger is a powerful spice, which is a flower called Zingber Alphastate. Mind you, I'm just trying to pronounce that. I didn't even know it was a flower until I researched it. Okay, ginger can be used in a powder form. It could be used, used or brought as a root. And you can use those two and serve as a tea. And I will be making a video teaching how to use powder ginger and the root ginger to boil down to make a tea. Okay, ginger also has vitamin B6, vitamin C, folic acid, riboflavin, potassium, iron, and sodium. Oh, and plus protein. The benefits of ginger is... Ginger helps with your digestive system. It helps with nausea. It helps with pain, stomach muscle pain, period cramps, congestion in the nose, chest. And it also helps with anti-inflammatory. Like with sickle cell patients, we have pain and we get like anti-inflammatory in our joints, knees, elbows, especially chest. We get acute chest. Like, basically anywhere. They say joints and every, anything that bends. But me, it, it can come anywhere. It come in my hands, your fingers. In, wherever your bones is at, that's where that lies. And it causes pain. Okay. How I use ginger, you could either use it in... Okay, I usually get the root. Clean it up, wash it real well. Let me go get that root. Okay, I found a ginger root. This is a ginger root. They come, I done bought plenty of them this big. They come in different sizes. The bigger, the better. That's why I broke off a piece that clean it. You can break it off, clean it. I do not take all peeling off, but I peel a majority of my um ginger root. You can boil it in water. You can make that to a tea. But I add ginger powder. I got this from Sam's Club. You can get a bigger one than the grocery store. This is brown ginger. I add this to the ginger root. That makes it tea. It makes it stronger. Let me tell you, drinking ginger tea, when I tell you something good, period, but when it hits our blood, then it hits those joints and everything that hurts, it, I'm telling you, it's a big difference. Then I also have ginger tea. You see? You can find this in Walmart, Food Line, anywhere. I, I also add this, but I also add a lot of other teas as well. Let's see, y'all. See? This light. I got a light up here. Can y'all see? Okay. Pretty much, I boil the root for about a good 30 minutes. I add in the powder, I add in the tea, I add in everything together. And once that boils for about 30, 25 to 30 minutes, I let it like seep, steep down a little bit, and it's ready to go. Okay, I forgot my headphones. I hope y'all heard the last part. But anyway, okay, we don't spoke about ginger. You can get this from any of your grocery stores, Sam's Club, Costco's, Fred's Club. Ginger is everywhere. It's in Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Dollar, you know, it's everywhere. I bought this particular tea from Food Lion. You can get it from Walmart. I know for a fact, but Food Lion and Walmart has this. And like a lot of the international stores, they have ginger tea, but I don't think it's this brand. 
far as the root, the root, you can get it from any grocery store out of the, the vegetable section. They should be right by the turnips or something, by another root. But anyway, ginger is the best thing that I found that helps me. And when I tell you the best thing, I probably have a lot of people looking at me like, how is ginger the best thing for a disease, a blood disease? But let me tell you, when I make that tea, it's the thing is when I make that tea and when I drink it, especially when I'm hurting, I give it 30 minutes. No, the pain's still there, but it just like it soothes it. When I tell you that ginger goes right to that spot and it burns just like alcohol when you drink it on a shot of Hennessy, it burns, but it feels good going down. I encourage all of my sickle cell warriors to get on natural remedies. Try to wean yourself off of the pharmaceutical drugs because let me tell you, they're not helping you. Your doctor get paid to tell you it's helping you, but it's not helping you. Natural is the way. And that's why Toya, the sickle cell warrior, is here. I'm telling you, I'm going to get y'all at a place where y'all will be like, wow, I could have been here. Guess what? That was me. That was me in, what, in 2015, 16 was my toughest years in the hospital every week, emergency room, four or five times a week. Yes. 33 months, no hospital, no ER. It's just like me saying 33 months clean. From the emergency room and the hospital. So, therefore, if I can do it, I know for a fact y'all can do it. For a person that always was in the hospital, in the emergency room, crying that she was in pain, didn't know what to do. If I can do it, you can do it. You have to change your lifestyle, too. It's a lifestyle. It's like, it's a process. It's nothing you can just start and stop. It's something you would have to keep at. And I'm just here to encourage anyone. And I will give out my information to anyone that needs my help for anything. If you need to learn how to make the teas, what teas to get, blase, blase. That's what I'm here for. Worry me with that. I want you to. But guess what? I didn't have nobody to help me with this. Okay, I was introduced to ginger and different natural remedies. But far as making it my lifestyle, no, Latoya had to start from scratch. But I'm here to help y'all. So y'all don't have to start from scratch and take y'all four years. I want the, I want y'all beginning to start now. So continue to follow my channel. Continue to subscribe and like my videos. I'm telling you, because more is coming. Be right back. Okay. One of the main medications that sickle cell warriors take and I know for a fact, I'm, I'm going to speak on myself, what I take. And I've been on it for, I want to say, since like 2012. I was introduced to it in 2012. Hydroxyurea. Hydroxyurea is something that's for, to help give us more like red blood cells, to take the old ones out and give us fresh red blood cells. But for some reason, it have not been happening for me because when I tell you my blood went from a 10.5 to a 10, now it's at a 7.5. And I'm scared to go back to the doctor because it might be at a 6.5. You know, that's like transfusion borderline. I don't like that. So we had to fix that. Okay. Hydroxyurea is used to help people with sickle cell disease to reduce the number of painful crises by the disease and to reduce the need, the need for blood transfusion. It's a oral chemo, chemo drug medication that is used as a chi, I'm going to spell it, C-Y-O-T-O-R-E-D-U-C-T-I-V-E therapy. It controls numbers of blood, white blood cells, red blood cells, platelets, and to reduce your spleen size. Yes, I have my little card. But that's pretty much what hydroxyurea does. And I know a lot of us, we need insurance to buy that medicine. It ain't cheap. Um, I know I'm up to taking two pills a day. First, it was just one pill one day and two pills the next day. You alternate back and forth. So when my blood dropped, they is making the dose go up even more. So I encourage if you don't have any insurance, please get some because 
you are in a you are with a disease that requires you to have insurance because if you don't trust and believe <laughs> you just need to get some insurance okay and i want to throw in real quick the different types of sickle cell okay is four types of sickle cell that clings on to the sickle cell disease there's only two types of sickle cell diseases i hope i said that right the two that clings on to the disease is the trait. The trait is not a disease. And sickle cell thalassemia is not a disease. It's a part of sickle cell disease. Sickle cell SS is the stronger of the disease. Sickle cell SC is which what I got is the milder version of SS, which both of those are the diseases. Okay, sickle cell SS, people who has inherited form form of sickle cell has two S genes from one S from your parent, one S from your mother, one S from your father. So that makes them have sickle cell SS. So that means both of their parents was carrying like the stronger version of the trait. I have SC. Okay. Sickle cell SC is the milder one, as they say. People who has inherited this form of sickle cell got a S gene from one parent and the C gene from another parent. The C gene is an abnormal hemoglobin. What is hemoglobin? Hemoglobin is a protein that allows red blood cells to carry oxygen to all parts of the body. So if I got a C and a S, that C is already abnormal because it's a hemoglobin. And if that hemoglobin cannot cannot provide protein, allows allows protein to the red blood cells and carry oxygen through my body, that's a, that's that's what makes SC to me. I don't see why they called it milder. Anyway, I'm the one living with it. They just study it. Okay. Sickle cell beta thalassemia. My grandmother has that. Mind you, she just mentioned that like four years ago. People who have this form of sickle cell disease inherit, inherited the sickle cell gene beta thalassemia and received a and, and received a hold up, beta gene from one parent and then received the anemic gene from another parent. So that makes them has beta thalassemia, sickle cell beta thalassemia. Y'all, I don't get the beta thalassemia. Mind you, I was just introduced to beta thalassemia never heard of this mind you i had sickle cell for what 37 years never heard of this but as they say in on the internet a cure for sickle cell disease is bone marrow transplant and stem cell transplant which they say both is risky you don't know if you a match so why the hell would i put my brother or sister through that you get what i'm saying i i, I mind y'all listen there's no cure to sickle cell they got y'all thinking it's a cure but really i need for y'all to research <laughs> if it's a cure for sickle cell mind you i had this disease for 37 years to this day i never had my doctor to come up and say we can cure you I never had my doctor say, well, we're going to try this to cure you. Or do you have this family member that does not have this or doesn't have that? They can help you. Mind you, I never had a doctor come up, come up to me and say that. Never. And I go to Duke University in North Carolina, one of the top hospitals. I know. Never, it never been mentioned. I never heard nobody around this area got it. I just see it pops up on my news feed. That this person will cure it. That person will cure it. Think about it, you guys. And I want y'all to research Dr. Phoebe. Okay? He had the cure for sickle cell. If you really want to cure yourself, and you got it in your heart and your mind, you can cure yourself, I'd rather for you to go watch his videos than to sit here and believe what the internet is telling you. So, you guys, I want everyone to subscribe to my channel. Thank y'all for watching. More videos is coming. Um, I realized that YouTube videos is easy, but guess what? I ain't gonna stop. But um, yeah.
I just want everybody to subscribe, like my videos, share. That's the main factor. Share. And just have a great weekend, you guys.